Every second, somebody is displaced as the result of a disaster or the impacts of climate change. There are now more people displaced as a consequence of disasters and climate change than by conflict and persecution. If we continue greenhouse gas emissions on our current trajectory, business as usual, then sea level rise will accelerate and there'll be consequences from that. People will be forced to move from their location, either temporarily or permanently. Uh, some of these people will move within nations, but in some cases they may be forced to uh, cross national borders. The fact is that people are already moving. This isn't just a problem in the future, it's happening right now. We know that if migration pathways existed, people would use them. People would much rather travel safely than having to take dangerous routes to find protection. It's a challenge that is necessarily multifaceted and requires thinking from every angle. And that's why we need holistic policy responses that draw on that expertise to try and address what is going to be one of the biggest challenges of our time. It's really important that the community understands the climate change issues and that they make known their feelings to the politicians urgently need to mitigate our greenhouse gas emissions. This is a really pressing issue for the region in which we live. Our Pacific Island nations face an existential threat if we don't start to address this challenge now. There's no time to waste. To avoid the worst case disasters, our politicians need to heed these calls and take action now. <laughs>